Hi everyone, it's Nay and welcome to, I guess you could call it my update, it might end up being my finale um, for my Back to Mac Project Pan. It probably should be the finale because uh, Back to Mac actually has finished, it finished about a week ago. Um, so I didn't get around to filming this last week but um, I did take most of the measurements last week. Um, I don't know whether maybe I'll look at doing another update for this um, a little bit later in the year um, just because quite a few of these things I didn't get anywhere near to where I wanted to be. Um, that being said I did manage to find uh, six items to go back to MAC to get a lipstick so I all up um, since they announced it was finishing, I've managed to um, get 12 items for two lipsticks. So at least I managed to get that done. Um, oops, I just bumped the table and now we're wiggling. All right. Um, yeah, so considering what's in front of me, I think I will probably um, update this at least once more. And every time I knock the table, this thing shakes. Anyway. Um, the first thing I had um, in this project was the Lightful Sea Micellar Water. Um, my goal for that one was to really um, get it, which is, so it started off at a 200ml container. Um, my goal was to really get it down to 150ml so that I could decant it into another bottle that I had. Um, and I did obviously manage to do that. Um, I have continued to use it after I decanted it. Um, I did this probably back, I reckon, must have been the first Thursday in April. No, sorry, the first Thursday in March, because I was going into town that day. Um, yeah, so I must have done it like the night before. Um, and when I did it, it was up, like, up into the neck. Continue to use it, obviously. Um... I'd quite like this bottle. It's it's a nice size and it works well. Interestingly enough, the hole in this one, and I don't know, it's gonna yeah, sort of pick it up there. He's a lot smaller than the one on the Mac bottle. Um, I don't know if that's because the Mac one do you use more. I don't know. Um, and also this stopper in this bottle was a lot easier to get out. Um, on the Mac one, I ended up having to put a spatula in and basically prizing it out that way where this one you can just sort of get it under there and it pops straight out I tried that on the Mac one and it like all pulled this away so yeah um, I think I will continue to use this bottle for any time I have a micellar water um, that's bigger than 150 mils I think I'll decant it into here um, the one that I was using which I put aside um, to work on this Mac one um, is a Asian one, I want to say Perfect Diary, which is 500ml and I'm actually now considering um, maybe decanting some of it into this uh, just so it's a bit easier to use. Um, so back a week ago when I weighed this it was 182 grams, now that's in this packaging. Um, I'm estimating that this packaging is somewhere around about 46 grams. Um, so yeah, I did manage to get it well under the 150 mil, managed to get it in this bottle and used up a fair bit of it since then as well. So that was one of my um, items that packaging that went back to Mac on the second shot. All right, next I have this Prep and Prime Skin. Um, obviously didn't finish this one up. Um, a week ago it was down to 42 grams. It started at about 51. So I've used about 9 grams of it. Um, I actually considered trying to decant um, the product out of this one. Um, I did manage to get this packaging apart, um, but when I did that I was kind of expecting to maybe see like a part that you could pull out because it's in an airless pump, um, like a part that might slip out to show me how much was actually left in it. So I had an idea of what was actually in it. And it doesn't do that it just kind of sits straight in there um, so I decided um, not to mess around with this one anymore 
um, it's supposed to be 30 mils but um, like a lot of primers I don't think 30 mils is going to weigh 30 grams um, so yeah don't quite know how much is left in this guy um, but yeah suffice to say I didn't use it up and this packaging lives with me um, it will be interesting to see how much it weighs when it is gone um, I mean I guess I could have scraped it out but yeah I just I decided not to I was a bit worried about what it was going how it was going to react when it hit the air if it was in a tub or something um, all right next one is the studio fix soft matte foundation now when I I used this like once and could see an obvious movement in the um, length of it so I thought oh maybe I'll manage to get it done well obviously nowhere near um, probably around about halfway done give or take still a lot of it left I did um, think that I was there's probably going to be about 70 uses in it originally um, I think there's probably double that because I reckon I've probably used it around about 70 times um, yeah it's about halfway done um, originally I had it measured at 3.4 centimeters it's now down to two and a half centimeters um, so I've used about a centimeter of it up and there's probably two well I mean taking into account that that measurement includes the plastic there's at least two centimeters in there I would say so I'm probably only actually about a third of the way through which is a bit astounding um, probably going to last me through the winter um, I probably did measure it at the higher point rather than the lower point and I did measure it about a week ago um, but yeah this one looks like it's going to be around for a good while yet um, which does surprise me a little bit um, but again I decided too much in there to try and decant um, I thought I probably could put it in a jar or something pardon me but then I'm like how do I get it out um, so yeah and because I managed to find other things that one stayed as it was um, the eyebrows in stylized I think I used twice no idea of knowing how much product is in that because um, it's non-retractable so that one is a non-starter as well uh, prep and prime highlighter still weighing in at 16 grams which is what it started at um, I think there's only about 3 grams or something in it um, again no real way of knowing how much is in there it's still bubbling out even though I haven't twisted it in ages I think I don't know whether I twisted it too far whether it keeps getting knocked um, and like the brush is sort of slowing it down or what the deal is with this um, yeah no way of knowing what's actually in there so we decided just to not worry about that one either as far as trying to get it back to Mac <clears throat> all right next is the select moisture cover um, a bit hard to tell at the moment on this guy because um, he hasn't been standing up straight for a while um, when he when it settles you can definitely see there's windowing down to about there that being said these are notoriously hard to look through because I think they're designed to be sort of opaque but reflective they're really tricky um, to see what's actually in them just holding it up like that it looks like it could be all the way down there as I said when I see windows it's sort of up there um, weight on this was about 12 grams it started off at about 14 I think there's five or six in it yeah there's five mil in there um, I only used a tiniest little bit of this 
didn't really expect it to um, come anywhere near um, yeah didn't depot it so it's staying as it is <clears throat> the Sheen Supreme lip gloss in black tea I have used this a heap again not really any way of knowing how much is actually in there um, all I know is that when I twist it more product seems to come out I do tend to store it that way um, just because it's a pain otherwise and that way you can sort of see it's on the tip and you can sort of use it whereas if it, yeah um, I think they only did these once and I can understand why they never did them again um, for lip products um, no idea how much is in there Apparently there was two and a half mil in there to start with. Um, yeah, have used it absolute heap. No idea how much is left in there. Um, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Now, two packaging containers that I did end up taking back to Mac were a couple of Fix Pluses. So one was a mini. Um, from when they did the um, this line so it was the passion one which was a red one and it was a uh, magic radiance full-size one so back to match both of those um, I sort of panicked a bit at the last moment um, I only had uh, even though I had more containers for some reason I only took one with me on that day it was a bit of a last-minute hurry um, so both of what was left in those ended up in this container. So this is a 100ml container. Um, I have been using this because now that it's in this bottle and not light protected, I like to get through it fairly quickly. Um, so I have been using this as both my first layer where I'd usually use the Magic Radiance and the finishing one where I'd usually use the um, scented one. Um, yes, yeah, so I've been using it for both of those, so I am getting through it a bit quicker. Um, so at the point when I weighed it, I reckon there's about 30 grams of actual product in there. Um, considering I've got another empty one of these bottles, it's exactly the same. So I weighed that and took that off of the total <clears throat> to come up with 30 grams as being the actual product left, um, which I reckon, which is about a quarter. Of both of those bottles um, together so the little ones 30 the big ones 100 um, so yeah a quarter would be 25 30 would just be over, just over 30 mils so about a quarter of them left <clears throat> um, yeah so reasonably happy would have liked to have gotten a little bit further on them both um, but in the end that was two containers for back to Mac so can't complain about that um now i just want to get through this fairly quickly um next i had the blusher inbound for love um this guy started about 12 millimeters and 18 grams it's now down to about 10 millimeters still 18 grams <clears throat> it's really not a lot left um this is another one i probably could have scraped out um one of the containers I did back to Mac was the other one of these that I had, um, which was in a project where it was pretty much level and I had kept using it, digging it out. The little bit that left was left went in another container, um, but these are so old and a little bit gross. And yeah, I'd really like to get this one done. Um, I did make some reasonable progress on it. Um, and I could have looked at scraping it out, I guess. Um, but yeah, just sort of didn't get around to doing it. Um, so yeah, continuing to use that pretty much every day. Um, Fantasia lipstick. I barely touched because I was focusing on the Peyton Polishes, the Sheen Supreme. 
So this guy is probably about where he was before. Um, mm, originally I had it measured at 14 grams and 0.7 centimetres. It, some, it could be down to 0.6, somewhere between 0.6 and 0.7 at the moment, still 16 grams. Um, yeah, this one really took a back seat, <clears throat> unfortunately. Uh, prep and prime lip, I just didn't seem to reach for and I don't know why. Um, I guess it wasn't something I was really using under any of those others because uh, the lip gloss and the balms... <clears throat> Um, that being said, I, if I'd focused on it, I probably could have, um, but it didn't happen, so that's where we are. Um, measuring at 10 grams, which is about what it started at. Might have used about a millimetre of it, um, but it's a bit tricky with this one, because it is on that angle, um, as to where to measure it, and <clears throat> can fluctuate depending on where you, which part of it you're using as to whether measurement changes or not. Um, next I had the shade stick in Lucky Jade. Um, this one I'd hope to at least wear down the tip. Um, and then anything on top of that was going to, supposed to be a bonus. Um, I was expecting to use this one regularly. Um, and it didn't happen because I actually... I was going through some more of these I had and found one that was glittery and I find that anything that's got glitter in it in this sort of thing they dry out way quicker um, the glitter must absorb the moisture or something so I actually put all of my energy into that um, so that is warm and cozy and I've actually made a bit of progress on this guy um, considering where it started from still heaps of it left um, does occasionally pop out of its holder um, but yeah it's down in there I didn't actually measure it when I started using it which was a bit silly I probably thought it was in here and didn't realize it wasn't <clears throat> um, but yeah that was the one I was concentrating mostly on um, it probably started off down about there somewhere just because it was dried and it shrunk a bit um, but yeah I probably used a good I don't know half a centimetre still heaps to go um, but yeah I am con consistently using this one at the moment I use it pretty much every day um, with only a couple of exceptions <clears throat> to try and get that one done again thought I could probably depot it um, the fact it come it pulls out of its base quite happily that might have been the smarter way to go um, but yeah it's still with me it didn't happen and the only other thing that I chucked in towards the end and I mainly started using this to make the other one work because it was so dry and I just wanted thought oh yeah might be able to make give it something more to stick to was the 24 hour extend eye base um, and I've actually used a reasonable bit of this considering it was brand new basically three months ago <clears throat> probably actually two and a half months ago actually um, yeah there's probably a bit of air in there um, but that's about where we are at the moment so yeah I was reasonably pleased with that again it was something I probably could have opened and scraped into something else but again a bit worried about it drying out if I did that being unusable um, so yeah it's just it's staying in the tube for now um, and I do think it does a fairly good job at making things stick um, it I think it worked so well that it actually made this guy crumble a bit when I was putting it on my eye um, yeah just managed to um, get a like a concealer brush or a yeah I think it was a concealer brush and sort of pull it out um, and that's what I've been doing yeah so um, that's uh, the end of this update for now um, I'm
I'm just trying to remember the six items that I ended up doing on my second back to Mac. I reckon it was it was the Sultana uh, version of these. I got away with that. Um, these were from a Christmas pack, um, but she took it the two flux two fix pluses, the mini and the full size, the blushette. Um, I reckon it was a Slim Shine lipstick I had and the container this was in so they were my six um then ended up back, in, back to macking um for the second one yeah so um disappointed that um they're finishing back to mac still haven't heard what their plan is um but i'm sure whatever it is it won't be as good as that i'm kind of hoping it might be a dollar off a bit like lush something like that but not holding my breath, we'll see what happens. Um, I am expecting it. it's going to be more likely points that are going to be completely useless for anything. Um, but we'll see. We will We will stay in tuned. I don't think Matt's, Mac has made any announcements yet. Alright, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.